Hello, dear listeners. My name is Max. I'm technical specialist in the CSOFT group of companies. In this video, we'll learn how to create a mesh model in the SCAD system of SOLIDWORKS with subsequent import in the SALO module and into the Polygon Soft program. We have an assembly model in the SOLIDWORKS, which consists of a casting, two inner rods, and a mold. We need to put the units of measurement in meters because the salon mesh module and the polygon soft program work in meters. The mesh model is created in the SOLIDWORKS simulation module. We go into this module and create any study. We need to create a connected mesh for different parts. For this we need to go to the global interaction tab and in the advanced tab we select the checkbox and force common knots between touching boundaries. There is another important point. The details must have some kind of material. This must be done to export the file to the Salon module. We specify any material for all details. Next, we go to the Mesh tab and select Create Mesh. Now we should select the parameters for creating the mesh. The preferred option is a curvature-based mesh. The remaining parameters are the same as the parameters when creating the mesh in the salon module. Let the maximum size of the element be 10 mm and the minimum size of the element is 1 mm. Next we go to the mesh quality tab. Here it's important to create a draft quality mesh or in other words a mesh with elements of the first order. Meshes with first order elements and meshes with second order elements are created in many mesh generators. We will consider the example of tetrahedral elements. Tetrahedral elements of the first order model the domain of linear displacement of the first order and have four nodes, one for each corner. Second order tetrahedral elements model the domain of second order quadratic displacements and have 10 nodes. Polygon Soft accepts only mesh models with first order elements, which is fully sufficient to obtain reliable results. Therefore, we leave all the details in the field of draft quality. Now we're trying to create a mesh. It turned out not perfect. It will be possible to improve the mesh but we will leave everything as it is. If we take a closer look, we will see that the mesh elements and the contact boundary of parts coincide. Well done! Now we right-click on the name of the research project and select Export. Here we can choose in which format we will export the mesh model. We need the IDS Universal Files format. Next, we save our file. Now we are going to the Salon module. We need a mesh module. Next we try to import our created file. We save it in UNV format. With the file was added to the left in the object tree. We need to click the compute button. And we get a report on the number of volumetric elements. We see that all three dimensional elements belong to linear elements. These are just first order elements or draft quality elements. If you suddenly created a mesh with quadratic elements, you can convert to a mesh with linear elements. You can right click on the mesh and select convert to from quadratic. You will have the opportunity to choose only convert to linear. Next, you will click the button Apply and Close. The mesh model will change elements from quadratic to linear. Everything is done correctly in our model. Initially, we loaded the mesh with linear elements. Therefore, we export our mesh model to a MET file. We'll try to open our mesh in the Polygon Source program in the master module. Select the Salon file type 
and leave the units of measurement in meters. The program asks us about saving the settings of the previous calculation. We will answer no. We can see that our mesh model loaded without any problems. We can check the mesh quality through the Check Mesh Quality tool. We see the results and will try to fix it. The results are suitable. This video ends here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I leave your comments on which video you would like to see in the next video. Can you keep a secret? Bye everyone.